self-made kings. That means anything that you want to be in life, you can be that. We all kings. He out here with his camp, man. What he call it? What you call it, man? Uh, the football is life kids camp. Okay, football is life kids camp, man. Y'all know about him. It's Harley Watkins, man, right here with us. Now, this is one of our favorites, man, because he done been on the self-made king show before. And uh, we were promising that we going to do a pop-up on him. And the pop-ups, y'all already know, is all about us coming out and finding their ground basically coming to the place where they do they work at and then kind of seeing what they doing from and getting that side and getting that perspective of it he uh he came up to our spot and he blessed us up there so we just felt like we wanted to redo it and then come out here and bless him on his spot and we already know he loves football so if we catch him doing anything like football he happy man you know <laughs> but um Man, we had to check in back with you because you've been having so much going on, bro. Oh, what's up? <laughs> man, look, I've been doing a lot, man. Right, like, right, 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 right. Just um, last time we talked, man, I was in Boise. Well, wow. I was going to Boise, I should say. Um, it was literally right before I got sent off there. Okay. Um, since then, like, um, I battled an injury once I got there. Um, I played for this team in Carolina on the East Coast. Like, okay. I went from the West mm -hmm. Coast to the East Coast. Um, after that, um, honestly, like the, the travel, like I said last time, man, it's been kind of wearing and tearing on me. Yeah, so yeah. I, so I ended up going into business for myself now. Now <laughs> I got my own team. Okay, okay. We got the Ohio Blitz, but we're a um, pro indoor team out of Lyman now, so I don't got to travel as much. I can play out my back door. Okay, okay, okay. And what's it called? Ohio Blitz? Yep, the Ohio Well, y'all see it right there, yeah. right there. Now you got you already have started with your uh, as far as your memorabilia and all your different uh, name brand and everything with it. Oh yeah, we got um, hoodies, shirts, cups, magnets. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And how if anybody want to get that, how do they get that? Um, you just order online. We got order forms online. We can send to you, and we also have a website coming. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. He been like I said, man. It's been hard to get him, man. He been everywhere, man. <laughs> And uh, so, and it's like, man, I saw you. Um, I see you at this game now. The last team that you was playing for was who? Um, I just played for Team America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, see, that's um, basically like they get all the like all stars from around the you know the U.S. And, okay. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we all basically create an all star team to go against teams like Canada, Mexico. This time we was going against Team World, which was Canada and Mexico together. Okay, okay. So like they blended them together and like we played against them. We beat them 54-0 in Dallas, Texas in Damn. the um, Cowboys Stadium. <laughs> what they put together down there on yeah, that end. See, I like, mean, when that do that team, the, the other team, they come from that coast, that part of the coast. Yeah, they, they come from together. like the Lexford, um, okay. CFL, the other Canadian leagues that's up there. like. It's a lot of little leagues up there, man. It's under the radar for was real. Was y'all that cold? Or was they just what? What was y'all was just that good? Yeah, we was we was nice with it, man. Like <laughs> they got right, they right. they really stacked us up good, man. And then we just jailed together. A lot of us played together too. Like this okay. was my second one. That was my second one. I'm planning on doing one again um, in Florida here in January. Okay, okay, okay. Man, it looked like y'all was having so much fun. So y'all basically just fly out. Y'all fly out there, and how long do y'all out there? How do that go? Uh, we normally fly out for about a week, uh -huh. um, about a week, week and a half. Depends on, you know, who you are and how long you depend on staying out there. Me, uh -huh. I had people out there, so okay. I stayed out there about a week and a half. Okay. But um, basically, all it is just, um, like, it's just an opportunity, man. Like, uh -huh. They helped me in so much, like since my career started, man. Like I had to return the favor, like you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they, um, they set us up real nice. We got a um, press conference. Um, after the press conference, we just we have our practices and ball out. Okay, okay. And uh, as far as uh, like scouts and things like that, you had y'all have all that there too, and they able to uh, to see y'all, you know? Yes. Um, we had lots of like we have lots of scouts to scout there, but um, particularly at this one, we had the XFL, USFL, okay, okay, NFL, okay. and the CFFL. I meant the CFL scouting, and we had all the arena leagues pretty much scouting as well. Okay. But over the course of time, like they've been around about 13 years, they done sent about 700, 800 athletes, okay. like to the um, NFL, and sent over 100 people to the, um, yeah, the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. Cause like right now, it seems like the opportunities is really opening up because they got the USFL that's going off right now, and I mean it's starting to pick up, man. At first, uh, like. The first maybe two or three games when the season, when they first started, you can look around at some of the stadiums and see USC kind of like 
you know, it wasn't that many people. But as we got them through the season now, and I think they're in the playoffs now, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah, oh man, you look in the stadium and it's starting to pick up. And they got big names behind the rock now, you know, they, yeah, yeah they yeah. doing their thing. Yeah, man. for sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. See, that's all it takes, man, is like, the NFL, man, people forget that the NFL and NBA started somewhere. Yeah, for sure. So the That's XFL right. and the USFL, you know, for us old, you know, old enough to know, yeah. the USFL used to be around back in the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? With Herschel Walker and all that. Yep, them. that's right. So now that they done brought them back and they done brought the XFL back, I like it because they got more opportunities. Like, I done been a part of the US, well, I done been inside the USFL draft pool and stuff. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. just giving us opportunities besides having just that NFL mega force or arena yeah, football. Yeah, got you. Just, got you. And giving us a national platform, like, it's, it's, it's great. I, I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it for football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, it seemed like now, you know, people really, you know, can you can see your way now. Because, remember, at first it was just like that big jump from, from straight from maybe arena, arena to the pros. Now you got – the USFL in between that, and it's like, man, dang it, then you still got arena ball, which yeah. is still popular, and it's just like, man, y'all, all y'all got away now, you know, and, yeah. and, and it's going to get pop more to the USFL for the pick back up, you know, next year, even more, you it, know. It really is, and I love it, because, like, I love, like, that I was, like, one of the ones who helped, like, like, because arena almost died at one point, you know what I mean? The AFL went down to 14. IFL went down. They got down about five, six leagues total. Okay. And like you said, it wasn't nothing but those leagues in the NFL. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's like now that we got, because there's so many different arena leagues now, and there's so many different like USFL and all that now. It's like that that part to revive. Like now for the future, mm -hmm. like I feel like the future is like is definitely looking yeah, bright. Yeah, yeah. And it's like we definitely needed that culture just to be back and like. Cause the IFL, like they just got a, um, a C, they on, they gonna be on CBS now. Okay, okay. So they just uh -huh. got a national thing. It's just like just those little breakthroughs yeah, like that. Yeah. Like even women's football now, like the W, um, the right, WFA. Right, 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 right. They gonna ESPN too. You know the big one that has a red shirt. I beat him two times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my little guy, Preston, right there, man. <laughs> So with your football with like um for life camp, do y'all? Yeah, don't mess this up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we got you. They play, but yeah, man. yeah, uh, football for life for kids. Tell me that again, man. Yeah, How you say that? The football is life kids camp. Um, so where you run it out of? You run that um, out of Elida, right? Yeah, I run it out of um normally I run it out of the Apex Sports Zone. But normally, like, when it gets sunny out, we'll run it out at a Farouk Park or okay. we'll run it out at Rob Park. Our actual big camp that we actually hold, we run that at Rob Park. Right, right. That's June 6th through 9th. We, we run that at Rob Park every year. And that's June 6th through the 9th? Yep, June okay. 6th uh -huh. through the 9th. You this get a T-shirt. Um, you get a medal. They get all type of footage and all type of just notoriety in general. Like, okay. all the scouts that look at me, they look at them, all the colleges and stuff that I know from ONU to yeah. other colleges that, you know, they look at it as well. And just the whole goal is just to get these kids scholarships and get them an opportunity yeah, somewhere, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, And see, that's some of the things. I want y'all to check it out um, with his show. His show is on YouTube, the show that we done with Harley. Um, and, man, it's a, it's a great show. I mean, y'all gonna absolutely love it. Y'all gotta go see it. It's an hour show, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It's with the Kings, Self Made Kings, over on YouTube, man. And um, like I said, man, he doing so much, man. It's like all the all the things that you bringing back to the community. It's like you running out, you you playing, you you trying to achieve what you want to achieve in life with this game called football, you know. But it's like, man, you, when you come back home, it's like just the things that you be doing all the time. And me and Lou, we see it all the time. <laughs> I mean, you out here with these kids, man, and you, I mean, you know, you you trying to show them and try to show them a way too, you know, with it all. And man, we loving it, man. You know that you know that you still at it, and everything that you told us up at the show, you still doing it, you know. Yeah. See, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another, another thing too, we forgot to tell y'all about. He also doing a documentary, okay? Yeah. And man, you know, and you make sure y'all check that out. Now tell them about that. We'll be gonna be able to find that out and what's going on with that. Um, if you go on YouTube, man, it's be um be beyond the walls. Uh huh. Um, it's a it's a documentary that you know I had a, I had the pleasure of making like a little while back. We filmed it and got it done, and we did a couple shots and stuff. It's just basic history on me and. Just some of the things I do around here, man. I was, it was a blessing just to be able to do it, to be honest, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, hey, it's, it's nice. Y'all got to check it out, man. It's nice. I saw it, and, uh, man, I was like, wow, yeah, yeah. If you and go on my um, 
if you go on my Facebook page, you, um, it's pinned up at the top as well. So if y'all ever want to catch it, just go on my Facebook page, Harley Watkins, and you can see it up there pinned at the top as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we didn't want to miss out on that. So he got the documentary, man. He got his he got his movie. You know, his whole show, podcast show is on YouTube. Uh, the, all the things talking about how he became this player that he is. And you, you know what drove him, you know, and made him stick with it, man. I used to coach him when he was younger. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've been seeing the drive in him. So, you know, just to be able to tap back into you now and still see that same drive, man, it's like crazy, man. And so I love it. I love, I love seeing it. I love seeing what you're doing. And uh, I want y'all to get a chance. When y'all get a chance, I want y'all to check him out. This man just putting it down every day. And all he need is, what about like donations or anything that you need, you know, for the kids, anything like that? Who would they get in contact with if they want to, you know, just come out and just support you with what you're doing? Um, if you want to um, support us in any way, we do, we do take cash out the Facebook page and we do take cash and donations. All you have to do is just contact our Facebook page. They normally get back um, within an hour or so. Just contact our Facebook page, let them know how much you want to do and when you want to do it. And they'll normally get back to you on that. Okay, okay. Well, y'all just heard it. You just heard it. We came out here, man. We came on his ground. And this is just one of the, like, the second time, maybe the third, on the third time, man, we're going to be somewhere where we all can sit down and eat. And we're going to be chopping it up real good then. Yeah, yeah. But we had a chance to get back out here with Carl Carly Watkins. Y'all already know him. This is our football player. This line was on, man. And he out there still putting it down. He's trying to show everybody what it's all about, man. You know, and it's all about giving back, okay? And that's what we all trying to do. We the self-made kings. We want to tell you, man. We once again, we at Front Park, man, with Holly Watkins, man. This is my dude, man. I've been yes, with sir. him from the bottom to the top, man. We love y'all. There wouldn't be no me. Ah, oh, say that. <laughs> hey, self-made kings, we out here. We love you. Kings.